Hi Carolyn here, trichologist at Absolique. We're just going to show you how we use our microscope to track the results of hair loss treatments. So um, when we're going in and we're doing hair loss treatments on any head of hair, it may not be growing properly. So we've already done our diagnosis. In this case, we have a hair cycle problem, which we can read through our terminal area. And we also have some pattern thinning going on. So we want to track what's happening in the hair cycle and also the pattern thinning. You need to make sure that you measure and mark accurately so you can get back into the same location after the treatments, which is generally four months later. So what we do for the hair cycle area, first of all, is we measure up from the nape, which is the hairline, because generally that will not move unless you have surgery. So we do two increments. This one here is five centimetres up, so I've already measured the five centimetre up. And then we go in from the side hairline. Now for this particular client, it's our second scope session, so we're actually matching a pathway that we've already done four months ago. So it tells me my sequence of centimetres, so I've gone five centimetres, seven centimetres, nine centimetres, etc. So we've done five different spots. So we go in and measure, so it's five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. And we actually mark that out. So we've got five, seven, nine, eleven. And 13. Now we write down, did we take the picture to the left or the right of the mark? That's important because that can take you further away. So here I've gone to the right of the mark, so I'm going to do that again. You need to make sure you get a very clean section because you're going to take a picture of this with a video microscope. So we get a good separation and then we grab our video microscope. I can see on the screen what I'm doing so I know I can adjust my lens, get a nice clean clear picture and we capture. So you just keep moving along the mark, make sure it's clean, watch what you're doing and capture. The particular microscope that I use, it has what we call an epidermal and a dermal image so we take the picture on the surface of the scalp and we also take a picture underneath the scalp so you can find those little translucent hairs as well. I don't prep the scalp uh, anymore. I like to see what the client is doing with their hair loss treatments at home because I can see if the scalp is dirty and we need to adjust it. So I generally do about five in each pathway. So we do five centimetres, ten centimetres and then we'll move into the recession. So we'll just uh, measure out again and we'll come back and show you. Okay, so when we get to the front area of the scalp, this can be affected by pattern thinning. So you've got female pattern thinning and male pattern thinning caused by DHT, dehydrotestosterone. It's very different to the entire hair cycle. So if you're treating DHT, you might need to work on the hair cycle first before working on DHT. You always need to make sure you've got some specific locations in this pattern thinning area. So with the recessions, what I suggest you do is you find the centre and you measure across from the centre, which we did here. Last time we measured five centimetres across from the part. So we go in we measure and we know that our line is in the exact same place. I always measure from the bridge of the nose, because again, unless you have operations that your nose won't move, so you know you're in the same spot, and then we read our locations from last time, which were 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and the last one being dermis. So we go in, make sure the bridge of the nose, and we mark 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. I've also written down that I went to the right of the mark, so I now I need to go to this side of the mark to get the most accurate picture. Make sure you get a nice, clean parting again. And be sure when you're taking your before shots that you take it where you want to improve the hair. So I went before the hairline and now I'm holding out of the way all these new, new hairs. And that's really impressive to show your client four months later. Again, nice clean section. Push it down and then take an image that you can see. So you basically keep doing that for all of the sequences. What we then do is we go and grab the image that we took the first scope session, the second scope session, and we manage to put them together and it creates a microscopic before and after. That 
improves the success of your hair loss treatments and it also enables us to uh, recommend a maintenance program. So when you go through something like this, you want to fix it and keep moving forward. You never want to go back. So that's Carolyn here at Absolute Hair Health Clinic.